Hello students, uh, my name is Santosh Kumar and I am the course instructor for Machining Sciences and Tool Design. Uh, we are discussing module number 2 that is um, temperatures in metal cutting and cutting fluids. So in this video we will discuss about uh, how to do the measurement of the cutting temperature using the work tool thermocouple. <music> As you all know the thermocouple is a junction of two dissimilar metals uh, which is dipped in hot and cold ends uh, because of this the temperature difference uh, there is an EMF which is generated uh, so that is technique is used uh, in this uh, measurement of a cutting that is workpiece temperature workpiece and tool temperature so in this technique uh, EMF is generated as a junction between the workpiece and a tool is taken as a measure of temperature in this region so whatever the emf which is coming out of uh, that is whatever the voltage which is indicated in this voltmeter is taken as a measurement of a temperature at the junction so in this method uh, you make use of the emf produced between the hot contact of the tool and the workpiece and their cold ends if the cold ends are of the two are joined uh, in a small current will flow which can be measured also the EMF generated can be measured by a voltmeter okay that is uh, you can see that arrangement here so it is connected directly to the voltmeter so the, this uh, sketch will give you a typical example of a work tool thermocouple in case of a lathe uh, workpiece is insulated from the check and the tailstock center because it should not conduct uh, heat through that to the check or to the tail center so end of the workpiece uh, away from the tool is welded uh, to a copper wire which is connected to a slip ring uh, that is uh, this one is connected electrically uh, to the slip ring which is dipped in a mercury mercury cup so connection is made with the mercury through a, a voltmeter uh, to the tail end of the tool so as you can see the mercury cup uh, is connected to a voltmeter to the tail end of the tool so magnitude of current depends on the temperature difference between the hot and the cold ends that is this is hot end and this is a cold end and the nature of the tool and the workpiece so it also depends upon nature of the tool and workpiece that is the cutting parameters uh, which we have discussed in the other video it is important uh, when using this technique to insulate the thermocouple circuit from a machine and to use the same circuit when calibrating the thermocouple so while uh, calibration also you need to use the same circuit uh, so why calibration is done uh, because whatever output voltage we are getting so it has to be read as a temperature so we need to do a calibration with a known temperature for example here it is an unknown temperature so we, if we do it with a known temperature so directly we can measure what is the temperature and you can do the calibration so it is assumed that uh, reading given by this method is an indication of mean temperature along a tool chip uh, interface so whatever measurement which is done here it's a measure it's a mean temperature or an average temperature the measured values of emf or uh, current are uh, converted into the temperature with the help of a calibration curve so we will be having a calibration curve uh, using that we can directly convert it into what is the temperature so calibration is carried out by dipping the tool tip with a chip attached to it in a molten lead bath so temperature of the bath can be varied to have the emfs at the different temperature for plotting the calibration curve so as this uh, temp this junction is dipped in a different uh, known temperatures so we can draw a calibration curve by doing that so we know the what is the temperature and we are just uh, reading the reading through a milli voltmeter and we can do the calibration so whether uh, whatever the indication in a milli volts is, is equal to certain temperature so when this subjected to actual condition so we can read the millivolt meter directly and then we can read it as a temperature using the calibration curves so this is about uh, temperatures uh, measurement of work tool uh, temperature